Aleluya. Elohim Adonai ha Elohim Adonai Elohim Abafada Elohim Adonai Elohim Adonai And we hail you We worship you We hail you Most high We hail your name We hail you We worship you Very slow. Continue, continue. Everybody touch your hair. Sing it prayerfully. Why your hands are still on your head? Do you know the meaning of the song you are singing? The hand of the Lord is upon me. It's making me to swear. That means if you are still experiencing slowness in your life, you need the hand of God. <laughs> you need the hand of God for divine speed. So sing that song with meaning. Oh, 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 Gloria, Jemiho, Ongbemi, Ongbemi, Sareho, Awa Olua, Leka Bara 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 can you go ahead and celebrate him? Even while you are writing your exams, his hand is upon your head. Because of his hand, you didn't fall sick in your exam hall. Can you go ahead and say, Father, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for your mighty hand upon my life. I'm grateful for your goodness in my life. I'm grateful for your love, for your care, for your message. I'm grateful for your compassion. I'm grateful for your protection. Your hands upon me for signs and wonders. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Still having your hand on your head. Imagine this God laying his hands on your head. What do you think will happen to you? To you? They are going to pray. Say, my father, my father. 
let your hand rest on my head and quicken my understanding as I write my exams. Can you go ahead and pray? 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 Quicken my understanding. Let your hand rest upon me for divine healing, for wisdom, for knowledge, for understanding, for grace, for knowledge and witty inventions. Let your hand rest upon my head for divine ideas, for divine ideas, for divine ideas, for divine ideas, for divine grace. Your hands upon my life for miracles, for signs, for wonders, for joy unspeakable, full of glory. Your hand upon my life, your hand upon my children for healing. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, Lord. Your hand upon our lives your hands upon our lives in jesus mighty name we have prayed say amen very well please put down your hands amen how many of you have passion for nigeria you want nigeria to become one of the great nations in the world raise up your hand i'm seeing few hands i know many of us our intention is to leave this country and say bye bye. <laughs> Anywhere you are, you still become a what? Second class citizen, even if it's US. Take it or leave it. Can I tell you this? Racism is still real. Anywhere you go to. Because of what is happening in this month, in this nation, we are going to pray. Heavenly Father, same Heavenly Father. Say Heavenly Father, loud and clear. Anyone and everyone that will sit on the throne at national level, at the state level, that doesn't have good intention for this nation, they will not get there. Less than two weeks, go ahead and pray with anger in your spirit. Anyone with evil intention, evil manipulation, evil calculation, anyone with evil policies, trying to continue to put us in this mess, Heavenly Father, they will not get there. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, they will not get there. They will not get it. Hey, Rabba, Baba, 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 in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say amen very well say my father my father every agent of darkness waging war against my success waging war against the glory of this land father silence them by fire can I go ahead and pray? Every agent of darkness, waging war against my shining, waging war against my glory, the way you are praying, I don't like it. Any agent of darkness trying to afflict me and my children with sickness, let your fire strike them. Let your fire strike them. Let your fire, let your thunder. Ere ba 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 ba, ere ba ga sha ba la ba da ya da, ere ke de ke de ke de ke de la da, e la ba da ba da ba da ba da ba, e ra ba 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 ba, e ga ra ba 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 ba, e ga la ba da ba da ba da, re ke sa bro de ba la ba ga sha da, e ra ba 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 ba, re ke 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 re, ra ba 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 re ka so ba la ka, e ra ba ba ba. Every agent of darkness waging war against my destiny, disgrace them, destroy them. Every agent of darkness against this land, Father, destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray say amen very very well say my father my father anyone wishing my father and my mother dead let them replace them and die for their sake can you go ahead and pray anyone wishing my siblings dead let them die in our place you don't know what you are saying you are praying you are praying prayer is a way out of sorrow anyone any evil arrow of sorrow in my family back to sender back to sender in Jesus mighty name we pray say amen very well say amen very well before you take us you're going to say my father my father in this exam I will pass very well I will succeed this semester result will be the best so far for me on this campus go ahead and pray go ahead and pray I will pass in flying colors I will not fail any course. The least that we have is A. The least I will have. I will excel. I will excel. I will excel. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Almighty God, we give you praise. We exalt you for your mighty hand upon our lives. Is your mighty hand that is on our lives that is making us to enjoy good life we are sleeping we are waking we are talking we can converse with people and they will understand us we are not talking out of context we are not insane we are not mentally depraved father we give all the glory we exalt your name we give all the glory thank you Abba father Thank you because during the exam, you didn't allow any of your children here to break down. We give you all the glory. We exalt you. As we speak now, we know some students are on the hospital bed. But we cry unto you on their behalf that you restore them back to good health in the name of Jesus. As many of you say, men that are strong here, yeah. maybe some people couldn't come to church because they are strong, they're not feeling very fine. I declare and declare, may the hand of God rest upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. No sickness in the name of Jesus. No disease is permitted in the name of Jesus. And no loss in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jam your hands together for Jesus. And please take your seat. Shake hands with your friend and say good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. How was your night? Ask him or her, how's been your exams? What was the reply? Eh? I have a good news for especially final year brethren. By the power that in the name of Jesus, I exempt you from any carryover in the name of Jesus. Any lecturers trying to frustrate you shall be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Say amen very well. Turn to your neighbor. Say my friend. Read hard. Oh. If you are spending two hours on WhatsApp during exam, you are writing love letter to failure. Hmm. 
<laughs> that song is still coming to my mind. I want to know that song. Anytime you are doing your worship, after your worship, just just sing that song. When the hand of the one that supervises this whole world is on your head, what do you think it happen to you? Let me tell you. If you are getting depressed often and you are having suicidal thoughts, ask God, Lua Shanomi. Lay your hands upon me. Lay your hands upon me. Ah! In 1 Kings 18, it's not part of my message, oh. <laughs> 1 Kings 18. Ah! When the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, what happened? Somebody that was without any horse to ride outran Ahab on a horse that means what divine speed <laughs> if you are serious with God here you will gain divine speed in life say amen very well amen. say amen very well amen. close your eyes touch your head say my father my father I gain divine speed in my examination hall in my family among my siblings and in life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray 40 seconds I gain divine speed divine speed no more sluggish movement divine speed because your hands upon my life hey and the hand of the Lord was of Elijah and he guided up his loins <laughs> give it to me continue Divine speed. And ran before Ahab. Let your hand. 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 Let your hand rest upon me for divine speed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Say amen very well. Another prayer is coming to my mind in that area. <laughs> I'm going to say, My Father, my God, let your hand touch all my destiny helpers. Let them lose their rest until they help me. Pray that prayer right now. Pray that prayer right now. Maybe some of you, you need to settle some bills in school. Maybe your, your own project is stopped because of lack of money. Let your hand make my helpers of destiny restless. Anywhere they are, all over the world. Let them remember me for favor. Can you go ahead and pray? Excuse I'm not praying. Ah, Jesus, have mercy. Oh, whoa, Lua. Let your hand of favor. Let your hand of divine remembrance touch me and touch all my helpers. Let your hand let your hand, let your hand, let your hand, the hand of God, the hand of God, the hand of God, the hand of God, the hand of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Say amen very well. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we go to your word, Father, bless us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say amen very well, oh. Good morning, everybody. I was at uh, night. I hope you slept well. How many of you slept for three hours? How many of you slept four hours? If you are sleeping eight hours during exam time, it is well. Continue. <laughs> it is well in Jesus' name. My topic this morning is building a glorious future. Building a glorious future. Building a glorious future. It is so easy to be overwhelmed by despair and fear in the world today. Sin 
calamities, war, cancer, sickness, all find a way to steal our hope and cause us to doubt there is a good future ahead. It is so easy to be overwhelmed by the frustrations of our world. It is so easy to be afraid. We are living in dangerous times that an average youth in Nigeria thinks that there is nothing for me in Nigeria. Am I communicating? <laughs> Some weeks back, I heard that there is ongoing war and battle in Sudan. How many of us are aware of that news? And I was told that so many Nigerians, especially students, they are stranded there. I begin to ask myself, what kind of education is in Sudan? That's not in Nigeria. Sudan, a desert. What is happening? An average Nigeria youth want to go to another country apart from Nigeria. Am I communicating? If you go to Kutonu, Kutonu there, some universities, majority of the students, you see them from Nigeria. What is the problem? Asu. You know what? Sometimes if you don't have delay once in a while, you don't appreciate the mercy of God concerning your life. Somebody that just got married now and gave birth, a lady, after nine months, cannot appreciate the baby the way somebody that has waited maybe that 10, 15, 20 years. Bible says all things work together. For what? Of them that do what? I pray for somebody here. The story of us who strike, we work together for your good. Say amen very well. Say amen very well. They can delay your time in rounding up your studies, but they cannot delay your glorious future. If you know the God you serve, just calm down. I was there before. <laughs> we had started in my own time. Almost seven months, six, seven months. Too. But guess what? Yes, yeah, that's today. I don't have a problem with that. At the level I am now, by the grace of God, I see my lecturer one on one. And he, he addressed me as Sir, Sir, Sir. Amen. 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 Don't worry, turn to your neighbor, say, Endure the pains now. Very soon, you will soon be their colleagues. Say amen very well. Say amen very well, Jare. Say amen very well. Building a glorious future. What is the meaning of the word? To build. To build is to construct, to erect or establish. I said it earlier that many of us we are thinking what does the future hold for me in this nation <laughs> I want you to rekindle your hope in the God of heaven that makes you be in Nigeria at this particular point in time so you must build your glorious future in God not like every other person trying to do everything possible to travel abroad. Building a glorious future. To build is to construct, erect, and establish. When you look at an average building, where does the building start from? Foundation. I can say that from your year, years, like one year, a bit zero years to 2024, 20, you are building the foundation of your future. 
What kind of building are you building? Or what kind of building are you constructing? Hmm. Building a glorious future. Glorious means splendid. Magnificence. Glory means something that is magnificent, something that is honorable, something that is worthy of celebration. I pray for somebody here. By the time you are graduating from this school, you shall be celebrated. Say amen very well. Say amen like a believer. Say amen like a believer. Quickly because of my time, because I know that they will soon bring paper now. <laughs> what are the keys to building? Or before I go on with that, what is the word future? Future talking about what? About what? Years ahead. Tomorrow is the future of today. Next tomorrow is the future of tomorrow. What do you want your future to be like? You have to be intentional about the way you are building your life in God. You have to be deliberate and to be determined that by the power and the grace of God, my future will be what? Will be great and glorious. If you believe that with me, say a powerful amen. amen. What are the keys to building a glorious future? Number one, diligence. Diligence. What's the meaning of the word diligence? At work. Seriousness. Many of you are in exam time now. If you are here and the paper you are having on Monday, you will just be opening it today. We have something like that. Yes or no? I'll be flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. What can I read now? Confusion is a lot. Anyone preparing and gunning for a glorious future must be diligent from the beginning of the semester. You start reading up your notes early enough that the Geo taught us something that will not leave me in a hurry. He said, one of his lecturers from years ago told him that for you to master any course, you must go through the material at least six to seven times. <laughs> Some of you are grumbling. Don't worry. Continue. Show me a first class student and I will show you a diligent student. Many of us now, we are addicted to shortcuts in passing our exams. Your future may suffer shortcut, may be cut short. Is it truth? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I don't expect you to be shouting now. Listen, please. I want to beg you. Diligence is one of the fundamental key to excellence in life and destiny. The Bible says, Seest thou a man? Diligent in his business. Shall do what? Many people are diligent in defrauding others of their money. Thinking they are smart. What you are laying to your future is not a glorious future. It's a shameful future. Diligence. Hard work is the way out of hard life. Write it down. Hard work 
is the way out of hard life. Nigeria of today, and can I shock you? No nation of the world that you get to today that you have free lunch, free, free breakfast, and free dinner. Even there's no free, no free house. A friend of mine traveled to Canada and he told me, say, sir, my rent for one month is 1.2 million. Naira, in Naira. 1.2 million. <laughs> I say, Calgary in Canada. I say, Gangan. The guy went as a minister of God, but sense told him, I cannot survive here. He had to go and look for work. He's working as a banker now, over there. Diligence. And can I tell you, if you are slothful here, and you say you want to go out there, <laughs> you want to go and be slothful, you end up as a beggar. How many of you have seen it on the internet of people on the street over there in the UK, begging on the street, sleeping on the street? I've seen it several times. I've heard stories. Somebody said, even in Freetown, there's no what? Free lunch. No free food. And can I tell you, if diligence is not your lifestyle in Nigeria, you will beg. And you will be at the mercy of men to survive. If you are here in the exam hall, you won't read before exam, and you want to enter and be asking, or you have your mind made up, once I finish this exam, I will go and block the lecturer. Your future will be blocked. Instead of stop, instead of sorting God and bending down to read, you are thinking, I want to sort men. Men can fail you. But only God. The Bible says, Woe is he that put his trust in the Son of Man. Bible says, give us help in time of trouble for vain is the help of man. Diligence. My brother that took the Sunday school was talking about making money, making budget, this one, that one. Some of us, you just want to make money and you spend it recklessly. A reckless spender is a useless entity. I heard a story in one school. Somebody told me about a guy into Yahoo that went to, went to club with his friend and bought all the drinks and spent up to 1.2 million one night and declined the table for everybody. Getting to his room in the morning, he wanted to cook concussion rice. He came and met that lady that can I can I have two tin tomato? You got it? Tin tomato. Can you complain that? Tin tomato. Somebody that just squandered. You cannot squander money now and you think that you want to enjoy a glorious future. See, Bible says we shall give account of everything that we do on earth. Also, you will give account of all the money that you have gotten in a fraudulent means. Diligence is a key that is crucial for every eye flyer, for everyone that wants to shine. If you are diligent, you don't sleep like every other person is sleeping. When they are sleeping, you are praying. When they are sleeping, you are reading. I'm not saying you shouldn't play but this is not the time to play. If you are tired, relax on your bed and calm down. Listen to worship songs. Worship God. Praise God. And try to meditate on some of the things you have learned. But if you are going out of this city now, going for a party every weekend, during exam time, it is where? Diligence. Diligence. Very, very crucial. Number two is dedication to the service of God. 
dedication to what brought you to campus dedication is very close to diligence are you dedicated to your assignment in the fellowship by the grace of God this morning we'll be inducting the new workers I want to appeal to every one of you and even the workers that have been inducted maybe two, three, four years ago renew your commitment with God somebody said any committee without commitment we commit crime you must be committed to your assignment on campus be committed to your assignment in this fellowship be committed to the service of God be dedicated see carry the gospel on your head <laughs> when you carry the love of God on your head it will carry your bodies on his shoulder one of my presidents in the zone was saying yesterday about some of the past executives that labored labored very very hard working for God in the fellowship serving God using their money, using their time, their energy. He said some of them today, they are very, very blessed by God, highly connected to men that matters in destiny. It's not because they know them from Adam, but the favor of God is what? Is working. Dedication. Dedication. First Corinthians fifteen ten. Dedication. First Corinthians fifteen ten. Bro Paul was dedicated to the cause of the gospel, and he labored hard. He labored very hard. He said, but by the grace, the unmerited favor and blessings of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not what? Found to be what? For nothing. Fruitless and without effect. In fact, I walked harder than all of them, the apostles. Though it was not really high, but the grace, the unmerited favor, and blessings of God which what was with me you cannot be dedicated to the cause of the gospel and, and to your, your assignment and not enjoy the blessings and the hand of God upon your head when you are dedicated to your assignment your future must be glorious I know some few escorts in this place. I am just smiling. I say, guy, there's a future ahead. I don't want to mention names. There's a future ahead. There's a future ahead. There's a future ahead. I pray for somebody here. Anyone trying to truncate your glorious future, the God of heaven will truncate their destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. Say amen. Let me mention one last one or two more. Humility. Somebody said, Humility is from the original word, humus. And wonderfully and coincidentally, humus happens to be what? One of the best soil. That what? That is good for what? Planting. Hmm said humility is from that foundational word you must what does that mean to be humble is to produce good and great fruits write it down to be humble is to be loyal to God and to all authorities authority 
difficult. I've seen so many youth. You are rude. You are proud. You are recastant. You are stubborn. You are healthy and naughty. Continue. Some of us, you reject instruction. And to reject instruction is to suffer destruction. You cannot be an eye flyer in God if you are not humble. Check yourself. Check yourself. James 4 verse 10. The book of James chapter 4 Humble yourselves in the sight of the what? Of the Lord. And you shall do what? I've seen some people to even greet good morning is too is too heavy for them. They look at you because ah we are of the same height. You even have brother chest, you have six pack, me, I have one pack. You cannot greet, you are proud. Many of us, we have lost helpers of destiny because of pride. Simple, good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Your mouth is too heavy. <laughs> How many minutes do I have more? Because I can see they are passing something. Bring it. Let me come and collect it. Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen very well. Say amen very well. For you to excel in your academics, you have to be humble to learn. Learn from people that are younger than you. Holy Spirit told me that humility is not you respecting and honoring your leader. But humility is you honoring your subordinates. Many of you, you know how you greet your mother in the house. Maybe because you are sleeping with the one sugar daddy. <laughs> you are a fool. Say, morning, Baba. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Don't worry. Your own children will do that to you also. Humility is crucial if you want to rise. First Peter. First Peter 5, verse 5. Media, very fast. First Peter 5. 1 Peter 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yea, all of you be what? Subject one to another. Continue. And be clothed with what? See, to be clothed with humility is to be clothed with honor. And to be clothed with pride is to be clothed with what? Shame, reproach, and frustration. Write it down. To be clothed with humility is to be clothed with what? Honor. But to be clothed with pride is to be enveloped with what? Shame. What again? Reproach. And what? Frustration. For God resisted the proud. And what? Give it grace to the humble. If you are not humble, the grace of God cannot work in your life. Grace made Brapo to labor more than the apostles. And he labor, he was never among the twelve apostles. But can I tell you, he performed. Much more, more than all of them. Because of what? The grace of God that was upon him. The next one, keys to building a glorious future is holiness. Holiness. Go to 1 Peter 5, 15. Sorry, 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter 1, 15. Very fast. As he that has called you is holy. But as he which has called you is what? 
holy. So be ye what? Holy. In all manner of what? Some of you, you have different slangs in your mouth. You know the kind of chat you send? You normally send? You know different slang for everything. You know how to code all those rubbish slangs. Bible says, be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Some of you that are telling us why I are born again, born again. When you get to the midst of your, you call them your goons, Abi. Your guys, your girls, you know what? Ah, babe, babe, oh um, uh, if you see that party, man, I, I shy for them. We shy, do you shy for them? Be ye only in all manner of conversation. Verse 16. Because it is written that what? Be ye holy, for I am holy. <laughs> Hebrews 12 14. Hebrews 12 14. Very fast. Follow peace with all men. If you are here, you are keeping malice with any member of the ESCO. Follow peace. If you are keeping malice with any member of the choristers, maybe you are, there is infight among yourselves. Holy Ghost cannot move when your songs is being rendered. Hey, don't talk. Follow peace with what? All men. Avoid envy. Avoid hatred. Avoid resentment. Do you know what? Why? Because all these things, they stop the hands of God from resting and moving in our lives. Keys. I have many. But let me mention this last one. Discover your purpose on time. Discover your purpose on time. Don't joke with purpose discovery. Don't just live your life erratically, haphazardly. Why are you here? What are you doing now? Are you doing something in alignment with your purpose? By the grace of God, I was able to discover mine. And thank God, God is using these lips of clay to impact lives. What are you living for? Are you living for worldliness or you are living for God? Are you living for worldly affairs? What is driving you? What is the purpose? For living. Your purpose will determine a lot of things amongst what you listen and who you listen to. You must listen to people that are manifesting what you want to manifest. Like somebody this morning, I saw his screen saver. Guess who is there? Prophet Ayo Babalola. I didn't tell him. I just saw it. I said, Kai. This guy knows his purpose. <laughs> if on your own phone, the one you have there is Tiwa Savage, continue. You can become famous, but the Bible says, what shall it profit a man? If we shall gain the whole world. She was opportune to, to present a song during the coronation of King Charles. Look at what she was wearing with tattoo all over. Kai. No government functionary appreciated his, her work. No essay on media to Buhari appreciated. Even Oshiba didn't say you performed well because of what? Many of you, they are telling you dress well, dress to honor God. You said, leave me alone. I want to show it. I want to show your cleavage. When you show your cleavage, you damage your destiny. And do you know what? When you cover yourself as a lady, your glory is covered. Look at me. The devil is a wicked devil. When you show your cleavage and you say, half of your breast is coming out, and that is your, that's what's entering your head. 
The devil will use you and bring men that will use you to the point of no return. And they will dash you with what? Cancer of the breast. Go for wait, wait. I'm telling it's not what that listen to me. Why is this world coming out? So that we can change. You cannot be a vessel unto honor in the hand of God and not cover your secrets as a lady. You may be saying, I'm too hard. I'm too harsh. <laughs> I've discovered that youth and teenagers of this, our age, it is well. It is well. Look at me. It will take God for you to marry a useful girl or a useful guy in our generation now. It will take the help of God. Yes or no? Because among even the so-called sisters that are doing holy holy, it is where? Even among the brothers that you see that ah, that we, their hunger is out of the world. Am I communicating? Should I stop now? But you have exam. <laughs> Listen, they are bringing it again. God have mercy on your ministry. <laughs> Five minutes more, man. It is where. Please, what you are listening to, it doesn't come off on the altar. I'm not here to cajole you. I made up my mind. See, with all humility, I've had a revelation that shows me that hell is real. Beyond all is in the Buddha out. That is making the lust of this world to be like a shit to me. If you see a glimpse of the suffering in hell, ah, you will say, God, have mercy on me. By the grace of God, all the internet you are addicted to, half of them are not active there. I don't know even your president's Facebook page. I don't even know. <laughs> your president Facebook. <laughs> we, we do have the time. Bible says, looking up to Jesus, the author. If you are here spending hours on WhatsApp, and once you are saying, I want to read the Bible, and you are sleeping 10 minutes into the story of God's word, they are working on your head. The devil will make, somebody said, whenever I read the word of God, it is very boring. Ah! Jesus! I pray that your problem is not a follow on problem. Ah! The Bible. The Bible. The word of God. And can I tell you, you cannot have a glorious future in God without the word. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> hey! Anytime I want to be down, maybe something is happening around me, I don't know. And I just have the thought. Holy Spirit is good. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29 11. I calm down and I smile. <laughs> it doesn't, see, there are some of us here. It doesn't matter what the next president will do, it will not affect you negatively. Say amen very well. Amen. Even if they increase the fuel. Pump price to 750 naira, 800 naira. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the next four years, you have a good car. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. Very soon, some of you, I will meet you at Itro Airport, UK. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. I see somebody here, you'll be a reference point in your family. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. As I round up, I want to mention these five things. Please meditate on, on them and think on them. Write them out. If possible. Who are the people laughing in the choir? Jesus, what's the problem now? Call these stars. We are supposed to bring out the hand of God and be serious with God. Chai. Continue. President, they need help. Oh. Maybe three days fast for all of them. You are not forcing anybody. If you'd like to pray, pray and fast. If you don't want to pray, don't pray. Amen. Enemies of great future. Fear. I love the song that they rendered. No fear in my future. 
I can tell you, as it stands now in Nigeria, there is fear in the future of Nigeria. I'm telling you. We need the hand of God for this country not to disintegrate. <laughs> hey! People of God. <laughs> Thank God I won't forget this. Keys to glorious future. Pray, pray, prayer. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will mess up your future. When you pray, you become a message. When you don't pray, you become a mess. Write it down. Write it down. It's not in my note. Too. Satan will rubbish you. That guy said he was looking for producer of his songs. Nobody was forthcoming. They said, I can these songs sell just to chant and pray for one hour. Who will produce me? He said, We go to his secret place and go and be crying and go and be crying and go and be crying. Father, I'm not in this thing for money. I'm not in this thing for money. Guess what? When you seek God, gold will come. Money is coming now. Yes or no? A book has on. He gave raw testimony in camp and I was there in the meeting. The guy said, I will tarry and we pray and we pray. I will pray. If you don't have any other way, if you don't have any abilities you are running to, you better do what? Pray. To conquer all those weaker, weaker lecturers, you must pray. Even if you are a first class student, they can still frustrate you. <laughs> I have seen brilliant people running mad. Hey, hey, Calabar, I will pray. When you are walking to exam hall, be praying, Holy Spirit. I receive attentive memory. Karaba. I remember all what I've learned. Rush, brush, 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 redos. You cannot just but pray. It's not the money of the exam. You have exam by 8 a.m. and you are just in. You see, man, you, man, you, man, you, something. The ah, morning of your exam, you are not serious with God. Go to one separate place after reading to stop up. Go to a separate place and relax. Father, I need your help. And can I tell you this? The Bible says, not by power. It's not by mind. Don't think that it's what you have read that we give you first class. With your first class, they can still waste you. But when you pray, you invoke the power of the highest to rest upon you like Mary. We cannot do without the partnership of heaven in this wicked world. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this world is very wicked. I heard a story about somebody that was promoted from a subsidiary of his company and promoted to another office. Big pay. Guess what? The dinner that they had for him to welcome him, the food was poisoned. From that dinner to the hospital bed in UCH, Three days later, he gave up. The devil is a wicked devil. He doesn't bother himself that don't have first class. Don't be a brilliant head. What is guiding against this? Don't know God more. Don't pray more. Don't study more. That's why I'm telling you, people of God, Holy Spirit is telling us you cannot exist and survive the tempest, the trials, the afflictions, the opposition of this world. Don't bring paper again. Go. Don't drop it. Go in Jesus' name. I'm rounding up now. Should I stop now? Amen. Enemies of great future. Fear. 2 Timothy 1 7. Number two. Hear this. Enemies of great future. Negative thoughts, negative friends. And negative self-talk. Very, very crucial. Very, very crucial. Negative thoughts. Negative friends. Anytime you have good ideas and see somebody around you saying, it cannot be done. Run away. Avoid them like you avoid COVID-19. Avoid them like you avoided Ebola. Are you with me? Just use time. And guess what? There can be in your units. 
maybe you have a good business idea. Like that brother. Please celebrate the brother that took the Sunday school for me. I enjoyed that ministration. You see now? Where is he? My brother, I will know you. And I pray that you take a session during Zona Congress. The Bible says, the gift of a man. When he, when he was just there during COVID, he said, he just covered the time was going. He said, ah, I need to learn something. He learned blogging and some other things. And he just covered the whole thing with the, the rest is history. That means he's making some cool cash. If you are here, 25 years old, you don't have any extra thing you are doing. All your body, all your all the stress is on your parents. You need help. God be... <laughs> don't grumble that your knees are being met. You have your hands and you have the mind of Christ. Ask God, give me an idea to rule my world. And it starts now. If you are touched and you all got to open the doors of greatness into your heart, into your life, sow a seed. I'm not begging anybody for any seed. Connect to the grace of God in this house. Negative thoughts, negative friends. Please avoid friends that are addicted to parties. Avoid friends that are addicted to hook up. They will hook you up with destiny destroyers. You are hearing it from this mouth, oh, you won't hear it every Sunday. Oh. Hmm. Avoid negative self talk. Talk of, can I make it? Can I excel? No. Tell, higher. That's why condition your heart and your destiny with the word of God. Every morning you wake up, I am the righteousness of God. I am a shining light. I am a wonder to my generation. It doesn't matter what is happening today. We may not have money in our family, but I will change the narrative. Say amen very well now. <laughs> hey, Bible says, weeping may endure for a night. Hey! But joy. Tell yourself, I am the joy that will happen to my family. Say amen very well. Amen. Number three enemy is what? Laziness. Even if you don't have exam, 9 a.m. on the bed, you are still rolling and rolling and rolling. <laughs> hey, I, I pray that the poverty quoted in Proverbs 6 will not hit your head. Sleeping on the bed and say, oh, I am enjoying myself. Continue, continue, continue. I discovered that great men they sleep for a few hours even after making all the wealth. Ah! This man just had his birthday. 78th birthday. Michael Denuga. I love this. I'm praying for him. He must give his life to Christ. This man <laughs> all his meetings he must be there. Any meeting he called even if he's doing an interview for anybody, he must be there at the last state of interview. He, stay, he, works, he works at VI. He's a celebrity at VI. He stays at VGC. He just takes a helicopter to his house. He told everybody that I'm marking 70, but I don't want any noise from anybody. I'm not doing any party. Jesus. Eventually, some people came together and they called some people. But you know what? Great men don't make noise. Some of you, you cheated somebody to make money. And because you have legs of 350, nobody will hear what they get in Unibe. Abba now. Abba now. See, any wealth made in the wrong way, we go in the wrong way. And it will even give you what? Heart attack depression and what premature death be hard working do good 
legit work. Last one. Enemies of great future, not giving glory to God. Every of your exam, after coming out, before going in, Father, help me. After finishing your exam, do what? Thank you, Jesus. Even if what you have written is He, praise can convert it to see. <laughs> Rise on your feet. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. If you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus. All heads bowed. Raboshka, Radosko, Botariada. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. You have heard the word of God this morning. And it's very expedient that you reconcile your way back to God before it is too late. If you know that you are not in good times with God, if you know that you still have some habits in your life that doesn't make God happy, all eyes closed, I say, all heads bow. Raise up your hand. If you want to reconcile back to God, don't be shy about anybody, about anything, because they cannot help your future. The one that you are raising your hand to is the one that sits in secret. He knows your heart. He knows what they're going to do when you get to your room now. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows how to make your crooked path straight. Do you know why I love this God? He's the one that can make a nobody from Zaria to become a world champion in UK. Joshua Selman. If you think that God is not real, look at his life. If you think that God is not real, look at the Jews' life. A man for the first 18 years of his life, he didn't use any shoe, even slippers. <laughs> hey, but now, but now, but now, he's begging people, don't give me any car again. Don't give me any car. All heads bow. Everybody, let's cry to God. Father, change me. Help me to start building my glorious future. In spirit, in truth, in holiness. If you are here, you want to give your life to Christ, raise up your hand. And say after me, my father, my father. I come to you this morning. I see myself as a sinner. Please have mercy on me and forgive me all my sins. And I'm making up my mind to serve you in spirit and in truth. I cry for your grace, Lord. Not to live in sin again. Thank you, Father, for helping me. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say amen very well. Say amen very well. Everybody say, my Father, my God. Say, my Father, my God. Help me to have a glorious destiny. Can you go ahead and pray? Pray, 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 pray. Help me to have a glorious destiny. All the people mocking me now, they will envy my future. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Help me to have a glorious destiny. Wonderful, shining bright. I must get there. Wonderful, shining bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get Wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please, when you get back home, go and study Deuteronomy chapter 8. It talks about the last point, and it's very, very crucial. Deuteronomy chapter 8. God will help us in the name of Jesus. If you are blessed this morning, jam your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Please take your seat. God bless you.